In my video, Countries That May Soon Disappear, I said Ukraine was never meant to exist. This seems to have angered a lot of Ukrainians, so I thought I'd make it clear exactly what I meant, because the Ukrainian question has, and has always had some interesting implications. What I meant is that Ukraine wouldn't exist right now if it wasn't for Western intervention. It would be a historical and ethnic region, but not an independent state. It was created at the end of World War I with the goal of weakening Russia. The Germans and Austrians always saw Russia as a threat, but they knew Russia would only pose a threat as long as it controls Ukraine. With Ukraine, Russia was a major world power. Without it, Russia was much more weak, and the same could be said today. That's why Russia annexed Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula two years ago. Vladimir Putin needs Ukrainian land if Russia hopes to compete with NATO in any real way. But that's a different video. Germany and Austria wanted an independent Ukrainian state in between them and Russia, a buffer state to defend their interest. They put huge effort into encouraging the Ukrainian independence movement, which did exist already, but it was weak. With Austrian support, Ukrainian independence from Russia was declared in 1918, after years of secret planning. Their plans were never admitted, but if you don't believe me, listen to this. The Austrian foreign minister was a man called Leopold Birchold. In 1914, he said, Our main objective in this war is the long-term weakening of Russia, and therefore, if we win, we will set about creating a Ukrainian state independent of Russia. They believe the only way to diminish the threat of Russian invasion was to do this. It's no coincidence Ukraine declared independence so soon after Russia surrendered to the Austrians. That's what I meant when I said Ukraine was never meant to exist. It only did due to German and Austrian intervention. I was specifically referring to modern Ukraine. By the dawn of the 20th century, the Austrian monarchy was quite weak, so they protected their interests through careful scheming. This was just one example. Modern politicians could use that kind of thinking, but they're too dumb. So I just wanted to clarify this in a short video. Ukraine shouldn't exist. So that's the end of this video. If you want to support this channel, you can do so simply by leaving a like. And if you want more content from me, I have a second channel all about politics.